Now, the basic decision the editor has to make is whether he or she is going to produce a fat apparatus or a thin apparatus. I'll give you an example of what I mean by that using a very short poem by the Latin poet Catullus, in which he imagines his girlfriend is asking how many of her kisses is enough to satisfy him. And he goes on to compare her kisses to the number of sands on the Libyan desert or the number of stars in the nighttime sky. Now, if an editor chooses to produce a thin apparatus, it could look a bit like this. The apparatus that was provided by what is probably the basic text used in the English-speaking world, produced in the late 1950s by uh, Roger Miners for the Oxford Classical Text series, in which he provided a very thin apparatus. As you can see, for the poem's 12 lines, he has only six entries in the apparatus, indicating places where manuscripts differ one from the other. And it happens that in none of those six instances is the text really uh, in doubt. The mistakes that have been made in the various manuscripts are easily identifiable, and the solution is clear in each case. And one could get the impression from an apparatus such as that, that the text of Catullus is basically in pretty good shape, that there are no great difficulties attached to it. Uh, that would be, however, a very misleading impression to take away. As the fat apparatus produced for the online edition by Daniel Kiss, which produces the fattest of fat apparatuses, in which Dr. Kiss has incorporated essentially every mistake made by every manuscript, all the information about the additions for each line, and all the conjectures, the suggestions for emendation, for correction, that various scholars have made at various times. And as you can see, the fat apparatus in this case is three to four times the length of the thin apparatus, and essentially is, for the average reader, unreadable. However, it must be said that having some repository, like the online edition of Daniel Kiss, is a very valuable asset. It provides a place for future scholars and readers to go if they do, in fact, want on any given line, any given segment, all the information that could possibly be usable. But in practical terms, in producing a critical edition that's going to appear in the shape of a book, some happy medium must be struck between the thin apparatus, which gives an appearance of too great simplicity and too little difficulty, and a fat apparatus which makes the text very difficult to read.